So what do the movies Shrek, Wall Street, and The Godfather have in common? Well, nothing, except for the fact that they're all specialty hot dogs here at Mad Dogs Hot Dogs in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. So what does it take to make one of these red carpet ready hot dogs? Join me, Justin Chote, as I find out on this episode of Bites of Burks. Back in 2016, Chris Moyer and Melissa Castro, founders of Mad Dogs, had a crazy idea to serve hot dogs paired with toppings inspired by big screen films. As a former chef, Chris worked in the food industry for almost 20 years. His experience creating new flavors and her love of Hollywood came together when they found the perfect location for their restaurant in downtown Kutztown. On this episode, I bite into Good Morning Vietnam, topped with sriracha mayo, fresh jalapenos, carrots, cucumbers, and raw onions. That's wild. Good, right? Amazing. I go back to my roots with a Philly cheesesteak-inspired hot dog, topped with ribeye steak, caramelized onions, and cheese Whiz. My taste buds are running up the art museum <laughs> steps right now. This is insane. And then I'd try a Bites of Burks inspired burger topped with cream cheese, peanut butter, locally made apricot peach jam, bacon, caramelized onions, fresh chopped jalapenos, and a fried egg, all on a toasted brioche roll. This is so friggin' good. They welcome you like they've known you forever, whether you're a first time customer or a previous customer. I've had so many of them, I don't, honestly. I think I've tried just about everyone, but my favorite, my go-to is like the breakfast at Tiffany's because breakfast on a hot dog, you got me a breakfast. Good morning, Vietnam. We're gonna do the good morning Vietnam hot dog. Yes. I am stoked. What's on it? Lots of fresh veggies, a little spicy mayo. It's our take on a banh mi style sandwich, which is a Vietnamese sandwich, and it's a great movie, so why not call it Good Morning Vietnam? Is it gonna make me cry, this, the spice? We got some, some sriracha not mayo. We not got some fresh jalapenos. Everything, a nervous. Everything blends together really good. We won't make you cry. I right. can make you cry if you want me to, but. Maybe not today. <laughs> we'll save that for another episode. Yes. Let's do it up. All right, let's go. Fresh steamed bun. Nice. Good Nathan's all beef hot dog. And then back here is where all the magic happens. All right, we Look start with fresh, veggies. fresh cucumbers. Who puts cucumbers on a hot dog, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think <laughs> I've ever seen this before. Or uh, some fresh Shredded carrot. carrot. A little wow. bit of freshly chopped onion. It's my favorite. Just the right amount of each one. This is my favorite. I put fresh jalapenos on everything. Mm. And then that the kicker. Bit of kick. Nice topper right there. Sriracha mayo. And that's the Good Morning Vietnam. <laughs> a banh mi sandwich on a hot dog. Smells spicy. Not too bit. spicy though. You won't cry, I promise. All right, here we go. Wow. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's wild. Good, right? Amazing. The hot dog's nice and salty like you like it. The bun, perfect. It's not too spicy like you said, but I do get that kick from the jalapeno yes. and from the sriracha mayo. Yes. But it's cooled down by the cucumber. Exactly. exactly. It's cooled down by the cucumber, which does wonders for this hot dog. I've never thought to put cucumber on a hot dog before. <laughs> Bam. Good. Unbelievable. Glad you like it. Amazing. Mm. So good. Uh, all right, guys, take us to break. Stay, Stay tuned for more Bites and Birds coming up after this.
excellent food. I always tell people when they're coming here that Chris is back there. He's not just rolling hot dogs. He's a chef. He's creating new dishes all the time. Excellent place to come and eat. I'm from Philadelphia. I saw on your menu you have a hot dog called Rocky. Yes. Talk to me. We keep it simple. Philly cheesesteak on top of a dog. Can't go wrong. Does it get any better than that? It doesn't. Does it get any better than that? I don't think it does. <laughs> Talk to me, what goes through it? Uh, again, we use our Nathan's All Beef Hot Dogs, some good chopped sirloin meat, and instead of raw onions, we do our caramelized onions, and then we cover it with Whiz. <laughs> That's Can't authentic. That's authentic. Yes. And you know, there are a lot of places up here that and just all around in general, that put those green peppers on, on a Philly cheesesteak. No. That doesn't work. No. That's not a Philly cheesesteak at all. Meat, cheese, and onion. You get it. That's it. And I love it. I'm excited <laughs> for it. Start with some good sirloin. I say it all the time, that is one of my favorite sounds. Yes. Oh, I love yes. the sizzle. You gotta cook it fresh. Absolutely. There's no other way. Fresh. There's really no other way. Everybody likes hot dogs. Everybody likes Philly cheesesteaks. So why not combine them? Do it up. I love a cheesesteak with the uh, the chopped steak. There are some some uh, places down in the city that that'll do the slices or the slabs of meat right yes. on the uh, right on the bun, but that's. Or the roll, rather. That's not how you do it. No. I love the chopped steak. Yes. All right. All right, let's make this up. Steamed roll. <laughs> Just a little bit of meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little not bit. Not too much. Caramelized onions that we cook for about an hour and a half. And what kind of cheese goes on a Philly cheesesteak? Cheese Whiz, there's there no other go. way. There it is, the Rocky. Oh my. Look at that. Take a look at that. It doesn't get any better than this right here. All right. You may never go to Philly again. <laughs> My taste buds are running up the art museum <laughs> steps right now. This is insane. It tastes like an authentic Philly cheesesteak. Yes. With a hot dog right on it. Yes. Steaks cooked beautifully. Caramelized onions cooked perfectly. Have that nice sweet bit going right through it with those caramelized onions. Whiz is great. I, I'm speechless. Simple I'm but speechless. good. Exactly. Excuse me, I'm going to finish this off. <laughs> mm. Amazing. Take us to break. Stay, Stay tuned for more Bites of Birds down here after this. this. first time at Mad Dogs and it was excellent. Um, when I saw they had fresh cut fries, that was all I needed to know because I am a fresh cut fry fan. Um, but the hot dogs were amazing too. I feel really special. You created a burger after Bites of Burks. We did. And this is exciting. This is the first time anybody's ever created a <laughs> menu option after our show, and that's exciting. Yes. Uh, what goes on this Bites of Burks burger? Uh, we start with our brioche rolls, fresh patty burger, and it just gets crazy from there. Cream cheese, peanut butter, a locally made jam, 
bacon, caramelized onions, fresh jalapenos, and the topper, a fried egg. Wow. The flavors in that are gonna be amazing. You taste can, everything. I'm, I'm comes, sure. One yes. bite and you taste every single yes. ingredient. We got our Labus Brioche Rolls. And what should be done with every burger roll? Toasted. Buttered and grilled. And you know, not only does that add nice, uh, nice crunch to the uh, to the bun, but it keeps the bun from getting soggy. Exactly. And please, please, people, do not ever serve, serve, me, serve me a soggy <laughs> burger. You don't do it. That's not how it works. All right. This is my secret. Don't little... tell anybody. Woo! We do a smash burger style nice. here. Gives it that nice crisp char yep. on one side. And I can't tell you what's in here. You sure? I can't. Not even a little hint? Nope. I guess I'll have to wait until I try it to see if I can uh, yes. pick it out. Get some bacon going. Nothing goes better with a burger than bacon. You like a little bacon or a lot I of like bacon? I like a lot of bacon. All right. Out of a shell, not out of a carton. A little more of the secret. We might be able to figure out what's in there. Wait till the taste. That deliciousness of the egg on top of that meaty burger, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, she's ready. Yes. <laughs> Give that a flip. Oh, she's ready. Oh, beautiful. Now the best part. Yes, we're putting peanut butter on a burger. That's peanut butter. Oh. Yes, we're putting cream cheese on a burger. It works. I'm gonna trust you on this one. I. That's interesting. Yes, it works. And yes, we're putting jelly on a burger. Woo! This is a locally made apricot peach jam. Wow. So that's gonna play like a salty sweet sort of thing here. Yes. And I, oh, I'm excited. Fresh jalapenos. A little spice, a little crunch. Yes. Bacon. Caramelized onions. Oh my. Still look good? Uh, it gets better and better. Oh. And the egg. Ready for the bread. All right. Pop that right on. And there it is. Stunning. The Ab bites of Burke. Absolutely stunning. It's all yours. Smells are, are great. It looks beautiful. Yeah, let's get a little. Yes, look at that cross section right there. The egg. Look at that egg running, running down. That's beautiful. Can I take a bite? Dig in. Here we go. It's terrible, right? Don't come here for this burger. <laughs> because they'll be gone. Because this is all I'm going to eat for the rest of my life. Can you taste everything I in there? I can taste every single ingredient from the peanut butter to the cream cheese to the apricot jam to the jalapenos, to the caramelized onions, to the bacon, to the egg, to the burger. It is wild. It is wild. This is a carnival in my mouth. Yes. This is so friggin' good. I hear the angels from heaven singing <laughs> down on me right now. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Glad you like it. Thank you. Created for you. Thank you. <clears throat> Great staff, good atmosphere, and amazing food here at Mad Dogs in Kutztown, Pennsylvania. Be sure to come check them out. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of Bites of Burks. I'm Justin Cho. I'll see you next time.